In December 2013, my nephew was getting over the flu. He hadn't slept well the past few nights. He woke his girlfriend and complained about a squeezing sensation in his upper back muscles, as well as pain in his jaw and nausea. The next morning, his girlfriend helped take him to the doctor. They had to go up one flight, and my nephew was exhausted as he went up the stairs. A young doctor checked his blood pressure and said it was okay. He suggested my nephew's back pain was probably caused from coughing so much while he was suffering from the flu. He suggested my nephew try a puffer. The main doctor then came in and rechecked my nephew's vital signs. He said things seem fine, but that my nephew could go to the hospital if he wants to. The doctor left. My nephew got up to leave and virtually collapsed right there in the doctor's office. He exclaimed, Call the doctor back! The doctor returned and administered oxygen. Paramedics arrived within two minutes. They gave my nephew gravel for nausea, did an EKG, checked heart enzymes, and determined my nephew had had a heart attack. Follow-up testing revealed my nephew had blockages in all three major coronary arteries including one that was 95% blocked. It's remarkable that my nephew was seen by two doctors who couldn't recognize a heart attack even though it was staring them right in the face. Doctor number one. Everything looks okay. Why don't we just give you a puffer? Doctor number two. You seem fine. Go to the hospital if you want. And then my nephew, no thanks, how about I just collapse right here? The lessons I want you to learn from this story are, learn to recognize the symptoms of a heart attack. You might not necessarily have chest pain. Angina discomfort may occur in your shoulders, in your back, in your arm, and even in your jaw. Don't rely on what your doctor says after a brief examination. Dig deeper for answers. Don't assume you are too young to be having a heart attack. My nephew was only 41. Heart Thrive is a program with 12 complete modules of instruction on how to reduce your heart disease risk. Each module includes a story from the heart from which you can learn profound messages. I will share a detailed version of my nephew's story in Module 2 on diet, in Module 11 on stress and anti-aging. You will learn about a woman who ignored the warning symptoms and suffered a full-blown life-altering stroke, something that never had to happen and was easily preventable. Again, each module includes a heartfelt story intended to teach you something you will never forget, which one day might save your life or at the very least, motivate you to make some positive lifestyle choices.